Hi everybody, I hope you're doing well. Today we're gonna be reading one of my favorite stories, The Ugly Duckling. This one is by um, Mara Alperin and Sue Eastland. I hope some of you haven't heard this. And this time I'm wearing my glasses so I can see the words a little bit better. All right, so we have The Ugly Duckling. Mm -hmm. It was a sunny spring morning in the farmyard. Sorry. Mother Duck sat proudly on her nest. Come quickly, she called to the other animals. My eggs are beginning to hatch. Crack, 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 crack. One tumbled, four out tumbled, four perfect little ducklings. They were soft and fluffy and yellow. The animals are saying, ooh, lovely. Aren't they just the sweetest ducklings ever? Oinked the pig. Cheep, cheep, chirped the baby ducklings, and Mother Duck gave them a big cuddle. But there was one egg left. It was bigger than the others and strangely speckled. Then it began to crack open. Out popped two funny feet, two wobbly wings and one bumpy beak. Mother Duck gasped. <gasps> he didn't look at all like her other baby ducklings. And the animals are saying, what a strange little creature. Such a funny color. He's a very ugly duckling, snooted, snorted the pig. Hush, scolded Mother Duck. He's my baby and I love him. Now, come along, children. It's time for your first swimming lesson. That wasn't very nice of them. Mother Duck marched towards the pond, and her little duckling skipped along behind. Wait for me, called the ugly duckling, but he tripped over his funny feet and thump, bump, thump, bump. He tumbled into the other little ducklings. How clumsy! Never mind, said Mother Duck. Now into the water like good little ducklings. Let's sing our duckling song, Mother Duck said. It's called Quackity Quack 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 Quack, chanted the four little ducklings. Honkity honk, the ugly duckling sang happily. What's that? Who did the horse? You don't sing like a duckling. Now, now, said Mother Duck, he'll learn in time. The ugly duckling didn't learn. And all summer long, the ugly, the other animals teased him when he got stuck in things, tripped over things, and made enormous messes. And the pig is saying, how embarrassing. No matter how hard he tried, the ugly duckling just didn't fit in. <clears throat> Why don't you go away, squawked the other little ducklings. You're noisy and messy and you're ruining our fun. Just then they heard Mother, duckling, Mother Duck call for her children. Not you, shouted the ducklings and off they pranced, leaving the ugly duckling behind. Oh, why does no one want to play with me? sighed the ugly duckling. No time to play, said the mole, popping his head up. I'm digging a new tunnel for the winter. Can I help? asked the ugly duckling, and he poked his bumpy beak underground. Where are you, my little one? quacked Mother Duck. We can't wait any longer. It's time to fly south for the winter. I'm coming, cried the ugly duckling. Wait for me. But the ugly duckling was stuck in the tunnel and Mother Duck couldn't hear him. The ugly duckling wriggled and wiggled and he pushed and he pulled until pop! At last he was free. But it was too late. They had left without him. Oh no, sniffed the ugly duckling. I'll never catch up to them now. I'm all alone. 
The days and nights grew colder and the ugly duckling sheltered in the hollow of an old oak tree. Oh, he's kind of changing. And as the snowflakes fell, he curled up his long wings and dreamed of sunny days and games in the meadows. <clears throat> At last, the sun peeked out and, and the frozen pond began to thaw. Then one day, a beautiful swan glided across the sparkling water. The ugly duckling peeked out from behind the reeds. I wish I could go and swim with her, he said, but I'm too I'm too ugly to be her friend. And he gave a little sob. Who's there? called the swan. Come out and play. I can't, whispered the ugly duckling. I'm too funny looking and everybody laughs at me. I won't laugh, promised the swan. I don't mind how you look. So, this is him. The ugly duckling took a deep breath and stepped outside. But you're beautiful, exclaimed the swan. Look, and he looked down at his reflection and saw that she was right. The ugly duckling had grown into a swan, a beautiful, elegant swan with dazzling white feathers and a long, graceful neck. So they played together all day. He was very happy indeed. At last, he was as beautiful on the outside as he was on the inside. And best of all, he had a friend. The end. So I want you guys to think about what the moral of this story is, okay? Now the moral of the story is the lesson. So what do you think, what lesson do you think they want you to learn from the story, the ugly duckling? Let us know. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.